hi you guys today i'm going to be sharing with you how i prep and bleach my lace closures first things first i'm going to show you all of the products that i use whenever i'm bleaching my lace closures i always use a 10 inch 4x4 straight closure and this is a invisible lace closure it's not hd there are very a very big difference between hd lace closures invisible brown lace whatever kind of lace it has a big difference so you may want to ask your vendors before you purchase any kind of lace closure you want a pre-plucked pre -pluck lace closure i like using invisible lace closures but you can use any lace closure that you like whichever one that you feel is more comfortable for you and of course i'm using my salon care prisma lights and you can get this from your local sally beauty supply it's the salon care prisma lights and i'm going to be using my 40 volume developer and whenever you are bleaching you have to know the type of bleach that you're going to be using and know the texture how fast your lace closures bleach mine i like to use 40 volume developer because i work very very quickly but if you work slow and you you want to be careful use a bowling brush whenever you are mixing and what i like to do is i like to mix both of my bleach powders together and like i said you can get them both from sally's beauty supply pour in a little bit at a time you can always add more later but i usually add in half and half you know i don't measure one cup of this one cup of that i usually pour until i see how much i need if i'm bleaching a lot of lace closures i fill up as much as i need but it's always going to be half and half and i like to use the violet and it is purple which cancels out yellow and all of the orangey tones that you may have the blue cancels out um the yellows and everything like that so just kind of know have a little bit of product knowledge on these bleaches that you're using because sometimes your lace closures can come out brassy so you're going to mix it and i love this powder because it doesn't it does very very good whenever you're mixing and i i realize like as i'm using it it don't i don't really have a lot of leftover product um it's very, very thick so you don't have to use much but i am using my salon care 40 volume developer like i said only because i like to work quickly and i can watch it and sometimes when you have a lace closure it may require you to use a higher volume developer and you can pour as much as you need the most important thing is you're looking at the consistency of the bleach you're looking at the consistency you don't want it too thin you don't want it too watery you don't want it too thick and like i said with this powder in specific it does get very very thick so you will use more developer than normal your ultimate goal whenever you are trying to figure out the consistency you want it to be thick enough just to lay on top of the lace and bleach the knots you don't want it too runny and it bleeds through and then your knots and the strands at the root at the root of it you don't want to bleach it too much so keep it thick enough so that it doesn't go through the lace even if you so happen to bleach um too much or if the bleach bleeds through the lace you can always correct it after everything is in or whenever you go in to dye your lace closure if you are dyeing it black or if you're doing anything else with it you can camouflage it or color it back black however you want to but if you do happen to bleed you can correct it later like i said this bleach is very very thick but you can see the consistency of it is getting a lot more creamier so this is what you want you want it to be creamy not too thick you want it to be able to glide on very smooth and i like to put it on the side just to kind of see how it spreads Now 
Now to apply my bleach to the lace closure, I like to use a plastic applicator. This is going to help spread the bleach on very, very smooth. Now you want to go ahead and start picking up your product and you don't want to put too much on your brush but you also want to make sure that you have just enough. You don't need too much. You don't want to overdo it because you don't want to push that bleach through your lace. So get just enough on there to spread it. And I like to start at the back of the closure first only because the knots at the back of the closure take a lot more longer to bleach than the front. And make sure that you don't take too long because your bleach does lose the life and the processing power that it has. So make sure that you, you go ahead and put that bleach on there. And I like to try to bleach all the way around the edges of it. I don't want to leave anything out because I do this method for all of my quick weaves. After you have applied the bleach, this is how it will look. It's very, very creamy. The consistency is laid down very, very smooth, but you're going to stop just about a half an inch. You don't want to bleach the beginning of the closure first. Use your Renner's Wrap, or you can use any type of foil, but I like to use the aluminum foil that's very, very thick only because it holds the heat in because the heat processes the lace closure faster so i'm going to tear it into a square then i'm going to lay the closure facing downward you're not going to press it down just gently lay it down fold the top half of it but do not press down hard so that you don't push the bleach through the lace Now I put my lace closures underneath the dryer only because I like working quickly and I know my lace closures. I've been bleaching my closures from this particular vendor and it doesn't take a long time to bleach but I also know just how much and I'm attentive so all I'm doing is I part it in different sections just to see how much how much the bleach has bleached the knots and for particularly in what I do I don't necessarily have to bleach it extremely blonde. Now I'm going to go in with my second layer of bleach. I washed it off and this is how it'll look on the back. You will see that some of the knots are bleached and all you have to do if there are some knots that's not bleached, remember the knots in the back are always going to take a little bit longer to bleach so I always bleach the first layer first and then I go again with another layer and then I part just to kind of see how the hair is laying and to have everything straightened out and combed all the way through how I need to and I'm also checking it out just to see if there are any bleed spots because you don't want to over bleach any areas on your lace closure so this is how it's looking and it should be looking like scalp but you can see some of the knots only because you haven't bleached it all of the way but you bleached it just enough because you are going to go in with another layer. So with this bleach it does start to get a little more um it gets a little more creamier so i like to go and add in a little extra powder just to thicken it back up because i want to add a little more extra power to that bleach and it does this because it's been sitting but you are going to mix it up so that you can put your second layer of bleach on when you do this layer you will cover the entire lace closure this time this will help you make sure that all of the knots are bleached evenly the knots on the front bleach a lot more quicker than the knots in the back so this is how it will look everything is laid down smooth and remember do not press that bleach down 
so that it doesn't bleed through and right here I like to pull the hair out kind of spread it so that the hair in the front and you can lay back those wild hairs with got to be spray or some kind of holding spritz you can comb it back but you will do that step in the beginning if you choose to do so but I'm going to put it back underneath the dryer just for a little while right here you can see the knots are now bleached blonde but some of the knots are not all the way bleached but whenever you go in and lay this down on a client's head you will not see this and for the styles that I do it doesn't require that the knots be completely bleached because you won't really see them now I'm going to begin plucking most of those hairs that are on this closure are very are very dense so you are going to thin out this lace closure as much as possible whenever you are halfway you can comb out the lace closure with the fine tooth comb just to see how much hair you have plucked out i do not pluck in a line i pretty much just kind of pluck um randomly throughout and you're checking while you are going because you don't want to plug any holes but you are going to part just so you can see where you're going i'm using a slanted tweezer and I, this is just a generic tweezer out of the beauty supply store when you are plucking you are going to press down and pull back press down pull back make sure that when you pluck that the lace closure is damp it makes it a lot more easier to pluck after you're done plucking, you're going to always cut the tabs off the front of the lace. Now I'm going to go in with my Clairol. And this dye that I'm using is a temporary dye. It's from the Beautiful Collection and it's mainly made for advanced gray hair i love this dye because it dyes the lace closures very very good so what i do is i kind of just put some on the lace closure and all i do is comb it through literally all i do is comb this through because the lace closure isn't very very thick all you have to do is just comb it through and it's going to go through all of the hair the lace closure is damp so this works on damp on damp hair better if if the lace closure is dry it will require a lot more product so make sure that your lace closure is damp whenever you're doing this start at the ends first and then comb through to the top and that's all you're really going to be doing you're combing that color through After the lace closure is done processing, I like to go in with my brass to sass and this is going to help enhance and tone down your lace closure if your knots have any brassiness or any yellow tones to it. This is going to help not only with that but you can use this on any type of hair. Now that the lace closure is finished. To tie everything in, I'm going to go in with my lace tint and spray, and I'm going to spray the back of the lace. This is going to help tone down that lace closure, and from here, you are ready to install it on your client. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is my bleaching, plucking, and coloring process for my lace closure pixie quick weave styles.